Hello YouTube, welcome back to Case Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a command line tool with Node.js and the Commander.js module. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new file. And I'm going to say it's going to be in JavaScript. Uh -huh. Bang user bin environment so we know right and it's gonna save that and I wanna save it into my YouTube all right I'm gonna save this as CMD cmd.js all right and then while I'm here I'm just going to say npm install commander and that's what we're going to use to actually make this happen it's going to be commander so npm.js so what you want to do is go to npmjs.com Want to view what this does and what the use cases are for Commander? All right, it has all the installation part, um, steps, options. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna basically build out these options right here <clears throat> in a useful way to do some things that I like to do. Some things I like to get done. All right so let's just go ahead and put this to the side and go ahead and bring it in and we're going to take a look at setting up the version portion and just setting up commander in general okay all right so let's go ahead and proceed so we're going to go here now that we have commander installed we're going to say constant program equals require commander and a semicolon and I'll say program and I'll say return dot version because this is we're just starting out we're gonna do zero dot zero dot one okay and then we're gonna to option, Let's set up our option, and our first option is going to be dash C, and we're going to say code. So we want to set up our coding environment with this, and we're just going to say set up coding environment. All right, and then we're going to stop right there. Let's stop right there. We're going to say then I'm going to say to end it, we have to say parse process the RV to get the arguments that are entered. And I'm going to say constant ops equals program dot ops. And I say If ops dot code and we want to say console dot log you have chosen to, to start coding. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we can come down here. I'm gonna blow 
light up so everybody can see it. Even if you're looking at your cell phone, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. And I'm gonna say node, or not even node, I don't have to do that. I can do ls, ls, clear, and I can make uh, clear. We can make this uh, executable. So I can do um, plus x cmd.js. Ls so cmjs. I didn't put any options, so I have to do dash h, and we can get all of our options back. So if I clear, so we can see usage command. Then we have your options. Our options dash v for version. If we want to get the version output, so we want to go ahead and do that. So if I do cmd .js dash v it's version 0.0.1 clear if I do cmd.js.c it'll say you have chosen to start coding All right um, and voila tune into the next video so I can show you how we can actually make this useful and use it with a wide array of different tools to run different things, different sets of commands, and things like that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.